Welcome back to Metro Exodus. The two planned DLCs for this game have finally been released, The Two Colonels and Sam's Story, so I figured now that they're both out, let's play through them. Starting with The Two Colonels. Uh, as it says, warning DLC contains spoilers for the main story campaign, so make sure you've played that or seen that first. Uh, I guess I'll just read this description here. Uh, witness the story of the last year of life in Novosibirsk Metro through the eyes of Colonel Klebnikov taking direct part in the events, and Colonel Miller piecing the picture of the past together, basing upon Kirill's words and his own impressions. Anya. Dochka. Я много переосмыслил за год, пока мы мотались по стране. Положение, ответственность, долг. Все это ничто по сравнению с самым важным семьей, твоей жизнью. Прости, что я не понимал этого раньше. Если понадобится, я через сито просею все это засыпанное снегом кладбище, но найду лекарства. А Артем... Артем чувствует свою вину и хочет ее искупить. И я постараюсь проследить, чтобы это не стоило ему жизни. Главное, я снова в метро. И здесь никаким мутантом меня не остановить. Радиация на поверхности – другое дело. Отправляясь сюда, я думал, что беру билет в один конец. Вы сказали цель близко, но зачем вам институт? А ты настойчивый. Задание у нас. Больше сказать не могу. Но теперь, благодаря зеленке, которую нам отдал Кирилл, у нас появился шанс выжить. Ну что, боец? Артем ушел. Буду я тоже готовиться. А я, товарищ полковник. А ты, рядовой, пока останешься на связи. Должен же кто-то координировать операцию. Дело ответственное. Справишься? Конечно, справлюсь. Молодец. Кстати, Орел, расскажи-ка мне пока, как вы тут до бунта жили, когда зеленки на всех хватало. А, неплохо жили. Только отец вечно то на задании, то в патруле. Скучал один. Нет. Отец всегда домой спешил вернуться, особенно на праздники. Новый год последний вместе встретили. Товарищ полковник, ремонтники очень просили напомнить, когда насосов доберетесь, все слизь вокруг выжить. Ну, с гнидью, считай, покончили. Сам полковник Хлебников за огнемет берется. Смотри, не сглазь. Кстати, об огнемете. Где он? Вот, товарищ полковник. Только осторожно, тяжелый. Знаю. Давление в норме? Должно быть в норме. Проверьте. Если нет, ручка сбоку. Подкачайте немного. Вот так всегда. Вечно все приходится делать самому. Ладно, я пошел. Задайте гнили жару. Так точно, товарищ полковник. Задайте не волнуйся. Не пуха. К черту. <смех> Спасибо. So right off the bat, we get to use the new weapon of this DLC, the flamethrower. So I played for a couple minutes. All I did was stand here and mess around with the controls, because I remember Metro Exodus has a lot of controls. And I think I'm familiar with the basics. I know how to pump. Ah, right, and we're pumping it into the, the red zone where... You get like extra pressure temporarily, but it goes down really quickly. It's like overpressurized. Can wipe the visor, can look at our ammo and our one med kit. It's pretty cool. If you right click, it turns on the, uh, you call it a pilot light, I guess, even when it's on a flamethrower. Turn on the pi pilot light and that basically serves as your light. It's basically like the lighter. 
Very handy. I hope no one's afraid of snakes. Or lots of gross mucusy things. Oh, does having the pilot light on use up the pressure? I think it does. Oh, it also... burns these things? They're very flammable. God, this game's so good looking. Right, crafting supplies. Oh, Oh, right, I gotta hold it down. Leave this thing down like this so I can see a little bit better. The have to have it out if I want it to burn any of these things, though. Can this be burned? Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to burn all of this or just some key things around the pipes. Well, I mean, these are pipes. Gross. This stuff is so nasty. Diary 1. I gotta admit it, that Andre does have a good head on his shoulders. These tunnels were always easy to get lost in, but when they get covered in slime, even a map can't help. It's enough for it to cover some passages to change the shape of the place completely. The road signs truly are a godsend here. They're highly visible, and the slime can't eat them away. We only had to ask our guys to grab some signs when they returned from the work at the old railroad, and they brought a whole bunch in no time. Now we can't get lost here even if we want it, and the Oscom guys will have an easier time finding their directions too, once they finally decide to visit this place with their flamethrowers. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I really should arrange a bonus for him. He's earned it fair and square. Okay, so road signs for navigation. I should keep an eye out. Oh, we're doing great on fuel. We have much more than we started with. By the way, I noticed I didn't set a difficulty when I started. Is there like a global difficulty in this game, or is there just no difficulty for the DLCs? Ah, okay, it's global. It's still set to hardcore. Which is still the hardest, except for the... Like the... There's the... I think it's called the Ranger difficulty, which you unlock after beating the game. But hardcore is the hardest from the first playthrough that you can do. I don't 
like the way it was gyrating around. Gross. Oh, I'm hurt. Let's use a medkit. Get out of here, tentacle. Yeah, need to get the power up and going for that. It's very satisfying to burn these things. There's that little worm that I toasted through that gate. Please tell me this thing has fuel. Yes! Ah, now I can turn my pilot light off. I don't have to have it on always. We got light. I don't think I need the schematic. Still pretty freaking dark here. God, the lighting is amazing. That is so atmospheric and well lit. Well lit in skillfully lit, not well lit. It's actually quite dark. I think I'm still going to leave my pilot light on. Uh-oh. Very nice of someone to put these little symbols next to all the tanks of gas. I love all the menial stuff you have to do in Metro Exodus. Pump your gun all the time. Wipe your visor. Glory to Oscom. I don't think that's going to burn well while water is pouring over it.
Okay, can't burn the crud off of the machinery. I really don't know if I even need to destroy all these things if they're not in my way, but I want to. And we certainly have the fuel for it. Oh, that's a real nasty room. Squirt stuff on me. Can I really kick this down? Damn. this box? Did it have important stuff in it? Or is it just burning because it's wood and there's nothing special about it at all? Sorry, friend. there's an achievement for actually getting rid of all of the nasty slime stuff. <laughs> if it screams... Burn it. The walls should not scream. I love that you can do multiple actions at the same time. You can pump your pump your flamethrower and you can turn on and off the pile of light at the same time. Oh god. Is that nasty worm? Is that the same one or just a bunch of them? Was it you? It was you? Oh, I've actually collected a bunch of med kits. I have four left. Across 
Отстави саперов. Ищи вентиль, перекрой заслонку. Как понял? Принят, Альха. Альха, это красный три. Вентиль нашел. Двигаюсь дальше. Молодец, красный три. Modifications. Right. I don't remember how that works. I might not even be able to do it now. I know it depends on whether you can, like, take out your mobile workshop. Yeah, I don't think I can right now. Probably gotta wait till I find a work table. We're actually kind of running low on fuel. Oh, there's one of the signs. Oh, Jesus. noise is so satisfying. Whoa. Sorry, I had a little audio issue for a second. Back to burning the giant worm. Gotta stop the water first before we can burn this. If I wanted to super conserve my fuel, I could try to burn as much as I can with just the pilot light. That'd be very time consuming though.
It doesn't want to burn. Workbench. And some more upgrades. Coming back to life. Oh, got worms on me. Oh, gross. How do we get them off? Ugh. Before I use the table, I just want to see if there's like other crafting ingredients around here. Does this go somewhere? Nah, it's a dead end. Foreman's Diary 2. That rot keeps spreading, and the more slime accumulates, the faster it spreads. Our valiant defenders, though, instead of scheduling regular cleanups and sticking to that schedule, instead prefer to wait till the last possible moment when the worms appear, and then run around with their butts on fire playing heroes. The interesting part, though, is that each time they send less men. The second team's chief said it was not a coincidence that there is some secret project going on the old railroad, and they're throwing all they can at it and neglecting us. We're far behind that thing on priority list. Everything under the wraps. Come on, if you're going to invent shit, at least put some effort into it. Nobody wants to do anything, and that's the problem. They all want to find a warm and quiet place, sit on their asses and do important things like counting beans and stuff. No wonder that when they're giving out green stuff, there's always a crowd. But when it's time to burn some slime, you hardly see anyone ready to take the task. Okay, what can we make? <laughs> this thing really needs some cleaning, oh my god. It's gonna take 35 chemicals. We got plenty, let's do it. 
Dennis. So we can upgrade the pneumatic system. Airtight pneumatic system. Works pretty much like the standard one, but doesn't lose air if the pressure is above normal. Nice. And for the tank, standard tank instead of a small tank. Uh, yeah, you can see the magazine size goes way up. Oh, right, the parts we just put on are dirty, so those need to be cleaned. And as for normal stuff, we can make medkits. I can make flamethrower fuel. Yeah, to make 45, it takes 10 chemicals. That's not bad, and I'm quite low on fuel. Uh, yeah, let's make some more. I really don't want to run out of flamethrower fuel. I forgot, do you have to manually save in this game? Quick save. Is it F5? Yeah, F5 to quick save. It's the way we came in. And this is the thing I couldn't burn. Ah, I think it was set to invincible because I wasn't advanced to this part, perhaps. I'm supposed to go. Ah, I <laughs> grabbed it through the gate. What is that? Oh, fuck. Yeah. God, that little fucker's fast. I see more stuff over there. Is there some secret to getting in there? Burn. I love it when they're all touching each other, because then it all kind of just chain reactions. Guess she has another med kit, huh? Nah, let's wait till I get hurt more. I'm only slightly hurt.
<laughs> Look at all the like spores and stuff. Running really low on fuel again. Hey, friends. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, you Это для карьеры, говорят, полезно. А гнили и правда густо, я столько не видел никогда. Ага, вот же оно. Ха-ха, заработало! Ну, пошел я своих догонять, Вячеслав Михайлович. Удачной охоты. Good luck. Hey, you didn't get it all. <sighs> no, that stuff just isn't going to burn. Sorry to catch you on fire, skeleton. Fuel, yes. And... Some more upgrades, I think.
I hear little screaming things, but I don't think they're in this room. Fuel, yes. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Because there's also this way. Does it just lead to the same place? <coughs> okay, I finally get a good amount of fuel. Oh, it leads to... Leads to in there where there's a workbench and stuff. Which I can't get to from the other side. Uh oh. <laughs> Ew. Take a look at our weapon again. So we have the airtight, and now we can go to high capacity. Nice. We've got the standard tank. Now we can go to the big tank. It's a repurposed metal fire extinguisher. Uh, makes the weapon much heavier and bulkier. So do I pay for that with anything? The stability doesn't seem to be affected. Make some more fuel. Though I've actually got a decent amount now. This thing is getting so huge now. Look at it.
Hmm, so this one holds more air, but it doesn't keep its overcharge when it's in the red zone. I don't know if that really matters. I'm pretty sure it's just better. Freaking love the lighting. This game's gorgeous. Damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so even if I'm only slightly hurt, I should use a medkit, otherwise one of those will kill me. Holy crap! Now I know. Good thing I just auto-saved, or quick-saved, I mean. wrapped around to this area that I couldn't get to before. Worker's note. I hate to say I told you so, but we're screwed now. Cleaning the filters won't help. The pipes are full of slime instead of water now. I tried heating the incoming pipe with a blowtorch some, and the pump did restart after some time, but there's already two fingers of that shit on the walls now. The overflow basin is full. And the only thing that could do the trick is a proper burning. You should have started raising alarm a week ago. And I say that now you should take a brush and clean everything yourself since you were so against the idea of bothering the bosses back then. Whoa, how did that fire start? I won't complain. Oh my god. Oh, that's not gonna burn, is it? Yeah, so we gotta turn the water off. Oops. Oh 
Oh shit. I don't even know where the hell it was. Probably some of these up here. Or did the big worm pop up somewhere? This is about to be fun. That should spread far and wide. burn them, they're kind of in the water. Enough to annoy them away, at least. I can get that stuff up there. Oh! Oh, heck yeah! I don't think I can burn that. It looks wet, maybe. Oh, shit. dead for real this time? I hope there was just one of them. from both sides. Why have it usable at all, I wonder? Are we gonna come back to this door later? <laughs> 